Hey everybody, welcome to Wine Buy. Let's talk about Marmot Basin in Jasper, Alberta. I've been going to Marmot ever since I was a kid with my family. It was the first mountain I went to, so it holds a lot of nostalgia for me. It was really nice going there as a kid because the mountain has a variety of runs, anything from beginner to expert. And they're spaced out where as you go higher up the mountain, it becomes more difficult. It's not too big, it's about 90 runs. And you get, so you get to learn it very well. Learn all the, your lines, learn the different areas, you know, find some trees to go through. So it's really great to explore and it doesn't take a long time to actually learn the mountain itself. I moved to Jasper after high school because I wanted to go to the mountain every day. And what I ended up doing was buying a midweek pass there. And it was really nice because you go, I think it's for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I wanted to avoid the crowds. So that was the best time to go. And it was much cheaper than the, the full annual pass. So I was able to make the most of my time when I was there. If you don't have gear, skis, boots, that kind of thing, you can rent it right from the mountain. But what I do is I go into town and rent it there so that I don't have to wait in line when I get there. Um, I also get my lift ticket in town. Uh, Marmot Basin has a shop there where you can pre-order it so that once again, when you go to the mountain, you can just get right on the hill. If you do have your gear and your lift ticket already, you can just go to the top parking lot and start from there. The parking is really great in the sense where you can also just ski right out to your vehicle as well. In the last few years, they've upgraded the chairs, making them faster and placing them in different areas. There's now two chairlifts at the base, so the lines go really quick. And one of them takes you near the top of the mountain. And it's, you're up there in, I think, probably three or four minutes. Another great thing about Marmot Basin is the chalets. They have two chalets on the mountain. One is at the base where, you know, most people park. And the other is at mid-mountain. And you can only get there by skiing or snowboarding there. And that's pretty cool because on the way down, you know, from the top, you can stop in if you want to take a break, uh, have a beer, eat some food. And outside they have a fire pit too, which is really nice. Everybody kind of gets together there and eats and has a couple drinks and just has a lot of fun. Uh, and another great thing is just the scenery. You look over on a clear day, you can see the mountains in the distance and, you know, the sun poking through the clouds. It's just a beautiful place to be. It gives you that raw feeling of being around nature that you don't really get in the city. My favorite thing about Marmot has to be the memories I've made throughout the years. You know, going there as a kid and living there and now taking my son there. I've made a lot of great memories with him there. He's not a very advanced skier, but the mountain is easy enough, portions of it anyways, that he can keep up with me and go at a good pace and just have a lot of fun. So the reason I go to Marmot it's not just for the hill. The hill's great, I love snowboarding, I love skiing, but I'm not doing it the whole time I'm there. There's a lot of great hotels around the area, such as Jasper Park Lodge or Whistler's Inn, which are two of the places I normally stay. And there's a lot of other things to do around there, you know? You can go to Athabasca Falls, you can go to Moline Canyon, you can go skating, and there's plenty of great restaurants in the town of Jasper as well. So it's really an all-in-one vacation, where if you wanna go skiing, but do some other things, I think it's the place to go. I'm not the best snowboarder or skier around, but Marmot is a great place to get away from the city. You put your headphones in, you put your gear on, and you just go cruising and kind of forget about the day-to-day -day life. And I think that's the best part about it, is that all you're worried about is making it to the bottom. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe, show your support, and thanks for watching. I'm going, going at a blistering two kilometers an hour right there. Oh, great great shot. I'm not the most advanced snowboarder.